Welcome to the Compass Coding Activity video. Raspberry Pi Foundation has partnered with Scouts to create the Digital Maker Staged Activity Badge. The badge has been designed to teach young people how to develop their digital making skills by making things with technology and teaching them skills such as how to solve problems, stick at it when the going gets tough, help their communities and express themselves. This is the Compass Coding Activity where you'll need to write instructions for a partner to follow which guide them around a grid to avoid obstacles just like you would instruct a computer or robot. To complete this activity you'll need a pencil or marker, a few sheets of paper, a partner if you have one, an area with a little bit of space, and the activity instructions available from the Scouts website. The first thing you need to do in order to complete the compass coding activity is to set up your navigation area. This can be anywhere there's enough space to move around, such as a lounge room, a back garden, in this case, we've used our driveway. Once you've drawn your grid or organised where your navigation area will be, you should mark one point as the start and another as the finish. This way, your compass coding robot will know where it needs to begin and end its journey. The next step is to place some obstacles in random places inside your navigation area that need to be avoided on the way from the start to the finish point. Before you start creating instructions to program your robot, you'll need to discuss the concept that computers follow very specific instructions and that we encounter problems when our instructions are not clear enough for the machine to understand. Also discuss the ways that scouts give instructions when navigating. For this activity, we use compass directions, north, east, south and west. Now comes the tricky part. You'll need to create a series of instructions on your sheet of paper that your partner can follow to safely navigate any obstacles from the start point to the finish point, using compass directions to indicate which way they should step each time. Next, test your instructions to see if you've navigated your partner correctly through the maze and fix any errors in your instructions where you go wrong. In coding, we call these errors bugs and the process of error correction, debugging. Continue debugging your code until you can navigate your partner from start to finish with no problems. This activity fulfills stage one requirement three of the Digital Maker Badge, which is to write instructions that a machine or person can follow to complete a task, as well as stage one requirement three of the Navigator Staged Activity Badge, which is to learn the cardinal points of a compass. The major outcomes for this activity are developing skills for life and problem solving. These skills for life will help you succeed now and in the future while having a lot of fun along the way. This activity helps you to develop your programming skills and to understand how computers, tablets and smartphones work, what they do and how they process commands and instructions. This activity is mostly about solving problems just like computer programmers do. How did you find the error or bug in your code? How did you fix or debug that code? And how did you come to your final solution? Was it better to use a long route with lots of instructions or a short route with a few instructions? How was it possible to find the bugs in your code before you instructed the robot or your partner to complete them? There are several ways to complete this activity. You don't have to do it in person or with a partner. We also have the online version available at rpf.io compass and you can find more information on the activity on the Scouts website.